Hello everyone, welcome to some basic tech and today I will show you uh, if you have installed Ubuntu on your physical system and you want to sync your uh, drive for OS storage server for uh, just kind of data saving or storage purpose. So uh, how you can just do that without losing your data and uh, today I will show you through uh, I will try to do with the help of one of tool a G parted live so it's a kind of uh, live boot tool and we will boot the system and then we will do just shrink the volume and uh, I will try to do the thing in my virtual machine but uh, if you have uh, in your install in your physical machine then you can just create bootable pen drive with G parted live and then you can do that and uh, the main thing we have to do some settings change changes in virtual box then we will boot so first of all come to setting system and then you have to select optical first one and then hard disk second one optical the kind of cd drive where we will just select the iso file of gparted live so come to storage and here you can just see i have already selected the choose disk and then select gparted live that's it so i have selected one and this is the ubuntu M machine 2 it's a 20 21.22 gb and uh, i want to shrink couple of gbs to show you how we how you can do that and uh, if you have installed in your uh, machine uh, in 100 or 200 gb then it's a uh, good for you to shrink through this uh, tool or setup so let's do that just double click to start the machine okay, we don't have to change any settings and just press enter Okay, don't touch key map. Just press tab and then hit enter. Then again hit enter. We don't want to select any language. Which mode do you prefer? We don't want to change. Okay, so you can see automatically we have got the exact point of view where we want to do changes. So let's click the exact volume size i have uh, recently uh, just synced the 2.9 gb size and again i want to shrink so just right click and then resize and move and uh, whatever amount you want to shrink you can just mention i'm just going to plus and i'm going to plus this will automatically minus so we don't have to do a lot of things just cancel again and then click resize and enter 2000 and here you can just lapse after clicking automatically just got minus so we don't have to do anything just click resize and move and moving a partition cause your operating system to fail to boot it means it's showing for uh, your data purpose if you have data so then you definitely have to save before doing these things because uh, it might be lost but I have not faced kind of issues so definitely you have to first take backup then just try might be chance or 0.01 percent so that can be a very losses for you so that's why and uh, you can see this is the kind of unallocated space over here and uh, let me just do this click here apply all operations i'm just clicking here and apply now and then resizing now we don't have to do anything it's automatically resizing now and uh, it will take uh, hardly one or two minute for me but if you are uh, resizing yes uh, resizing your size around 50 gb or 100 gb so on that situation it will uh, around take uh, 10 minutes to 15 minutes so 
let's wait for a couple of minutes and one more thing uh, this is this tool uh, is working for well, ubuntu only so if you are just trying to go for linux or uh, in rel or CentOS, then it might not be work so depending on the number and type of operation this might take a long but completed operations now close then you can see i have unallocated space of 1.9 gb and if you want to just create a partition just click new and uh, create primary partition we don't want to change any any size and uh, partition name it's not working you can just provide a label uh, newly created ext4 i'm just going to format now add label is newly created new partition okay so it's created now we don't have to do anything just click again to apply changes just finished and now we need to just reboot the machine you can reboot through any way i'm just closing the machine through this and off now just again go to setting and then go to system select to upper to default default boot for from hard disk now okay and double click to start now login you can see i'm able to login in my machine Here is that press control or delete and sudo bash lsblk for checking the lists of all partitions and uh, you can see 2 gb of partition is created as the hda3 and uh, if you type f uh, minus fp for full path so you can see i had mentioned the newly created so it's that dev hd34 ext4 newly created and it's a uuid of this partition that's it so as you saw this was the uh, quite uh, simple process through you can re just resync your or resize your uh, partition size and that's it thanks for watching the video if you like the channel and video kindly subscribe and share